What's going on everybody? This is RF Mike and tonight we are going to be looking at the new Google Wallet app here on the HTC M8. It has been updated since the last video, just some minor tweaks. And then we have Android Pay available on the LG G4 now. Uh, I just got the update today. It is September the 17th. So first, let's start with the HTC M8. We'll unlock it. Go into our app drawer. Here's our Google Wallet app. Let's see if we can get focus. There we go. There's our Google Wallet app. The new, more material, flat looking design. Open it up. And there's my balance. $5 is what's on my Google Wallet card. Not much. I've been doing a little spending here and there, as you see. Uh, money I've sent to the wife, and then uh, Shell. Spent some money at the gas station and 7 Eleven as well. A couple of these. A day, a couple days later. Uh, if we pull out the slide out menu, we have our wallet card and balance, which just tells us balance if we want to add money to my wallet card from my bank account, if we want to cash out, wallet card is active, if we want to lock the card or cancel the card, and that is about it of that. You have your settings, send feedback and help. Uh, settings information is Connecting your bank account, how many cards you have, monthly statements, emails, notifications, and security questions. So that is about it. That is all the uh, Google Wallet has to offer now. Everything else has been moved over to Android Pay. So we'll open that up. Your loyalty cards, your credit cards, debit cards, all that is now on your Android Pay with your little Android Pay logo here. We get the focus and show us. There we go. So we'll select Android Pay. We'll open up. Say, hey, you can add your credit cards, debit cards quickly. Uh, securely pay with your phone. And uh, to go through that setting, uh, current cards that are on here, information needs to be confirmed, and then to add another card. Uh, besides that, if we were to add a card, you now have You've seen this in the original Google Wallet, your box that can uh, add your cards for you. Here's an older dummy card. And you can see when you get all four corners lit up, it's going to capture the card. I'm not going to bother going through all that. Move it back. Brings up uh, information. Exit out of that. And to check out the settings, so as you can see, there is no slide out menu from the side. You have your overflow action, we'll hit settings, and under your settings you have your email. If you want to get notified by email, notification by your transactions, your loyalty gift cards, loyalty cards and gift cards, all those you can choose which ones you want on, which ones you want off. You do need to have your location turned on for these to be, to notify you when you are near these places, so these will pop up and show. And besides that, like once I have all my cards confirmed, you'll have a list of your cards to check out. And you can see they are now two different apps compared to the last video I did about Google Wallet, new and old. You can now tell that both these are running uh, different looks and styles to them now. So, much better. Um, that's about it for now. Once I get some cards confirmed, and if I can add on some more in the future, I will do another update video on this. Um, so, that is about it. You now have your Android Pay and your new wallet card. Two different apps now. If you guys have any questions or comments, please leave them down below. As always, hit that like button. That helps me out a lot. Uh, if you haven't seen any of my videos, look back through my history of stuff. If you want to keep caught up on the newest ones, make sure you hit that subscribe button. And I will see you guys in the next one.